So uh, I was called up by the same police after the success of uh, Lal Beria uh, to direct. They brought this story like this. We did what we call script workshop. And we came out with that idea. While we were rehearsing, that when I got the inspiration that ah, I did all that. The writer had written, they want to do what about the Isagaba, Isagaba. I said, No, this film cannot be titled My Town. Why we were filming and not change the title to Isakaba? That way, how it stayed. Okay. And then um, I give glory to God for what that film did. It's uh, not money. Mm. It didn't give me money. Fame. The fame, mm. the recognition. Mm the attention. Mm. But then, the funny thing is that it is now more celebrated. Because then, we as directors, mm. we were just like under, yes. covered up. Yes. We were not professional with, oh, a last one to do a master film. film yeah. Or this, 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 this. Yeah. So a lot of people didn't know. So now, today when we are, one is introduced, mm. he was the man that directed second one. Because then, some day they mm. we were yeah. able to be. Yeah. Took the yeah. whole whatever. Your, and yeah. I thank God mm. that um, today, you said, well, I've done for me. We From there, we went over, did part two, mm. three, four, <laughs> and the last one, five. My do part ten. And right now, you <laughs> uh, is coming back. Because if you see, that's the power of art. Mm. Every nooks and crime now you are seeing vigilantes. Mm. Government is not setting up vigilante. Was it different from what the Sakawa was no, doing? No, that no, then? not at all. That's what we're talking about. It's all right. Before we move further, I want to talk us. I want us to talk a bit about this movie. Yeah, you've done great movies to date. I know you have done over one hundred movies, but this particular one is very special to the Beninese, very special to everybody. Not even the Sakaba, not even the Yodos. I'm talking about Invasion, eighteen ninety seven. So, how did it happen? Of course, we know that you've always been at the forefront of promoting Benin art and culture. Right. Using Benin art and culture to promote unity, to promote peace, you know, to, pro to promote uh, development. Evasion 1897 is one thing that every Benin man, wherever in the world, you know, always proud of. You know, so what gave birth to Benin uh, invasion? Yeah, 1897 invasion. Well, to the glory of God, when you are growing, um, I've only been pumping in. There's some film you must not take off. It's called Aziba. Mm. Uh, 1999, I came to Benin. The first time I was bringing a production to Benin was to shoot uh, Aziba. Mm. And that, um, um, you and I were involved in a, in a trial of Ogiso yeah. mm. uh, We have been very excited about anything that is pumped <laughs> Benin. Yes, sir. Um, but growing up out of excitement, I told myself, that three greatest men had ever risen from this land. That as a filmmaker from here, I will not die, and I'm saying it, without filmically, yes. documenting, Telling capturing the, yeah. the essence of this man. One was about Vorame. I've always had that at the back of my mind, yeah. that I was going to make a film, but I knew mm. these were not... Uh, Kambiakwa, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it has to be organized, properly done, properly done, and with fund, money, enough fund, yeah. with enough money. So then, I'm gonna tell the story of the late Archbishop Benson Idawa, yes, yeah. and I'm reaching to the family. Mm. They give me the right, and I want to produce a film on that man. Nice, nice. Then, the Esama of Bini, as that day, these were just three men. Growing up, I was excited. I must capture their stories mm. for posterity to know. So, coincidentally, I made, as a forerunner, I made a desuwa that captured the story of Adesua and the Edo and Ogyobo. Mm. My God, it was so well received. I was excited about that. And I went to Abuja to promote it. I wrote a letter of, for support mm. to our sister and mother, Senator Desi Danjuma. I said, Mom, 
please support. I want to do the premiere of this movie. After we spoke, and I said, if you don't mind, I see you as an Amazon in the likeness of India. Yes. Uh, would you... Oh, I, I, I'm very particular about these heroes mm. from our place. She now said, the one that makes sense more to me is overall. I said, God. Grace. I said, Mom. Grace spoke again. Mm. Mom, I can't. Why I don't even brought up is the amount of money that is the car. He said, I will fund it. Praise God. That was just it. Praise God. From that moment, inspiration went wide. Yes. Yes. She just mobilized me immediately. Said, Take, go and do your research. Mm. That's how it went on. To the glory of God, to the earthly praise of that woman, mm. she single handedly funded, funded Invasion 1897. That she went to present a paper that for about this reparation. Mm -hmm. That she stands for reparation mm -hmm. and restitution. That was how we cook. I said, man, Ma, can you believe it? This is what I have said for myself that I was going to achieve. So she just hastened that process up. And we came to Benin. I went to the palace of the Oba of Benin. I said, Baba, uh, the mm -hmm. the our God, ancestor, I want to do this thing. I want to embarrass the white man. That every document out there is about British Benin massacre. Which means somebody else came, Benin killed them. They did not care for. Bini punitive expedition. expedition. They came to whip Bini to shame mm. for the atrocity they committed. I said it's a lie. From research, we have discovered that they invaded us. Mm. That is why I tagged that movie Invasion. That as far as it happened here, we invaded. Mm. So we went four years before 1897 mm. to see how they troubled us, mm. how they saw what they were looking for mm. in Bini. I wanted to take it by force. So for me, is one work that means a lot to me. Our Oba now told me that Ugameti Uwebona Zegrowe Edogati Wekpome. That was his statement. Oba Atokwe. Oba Atokwe, he said. Edogati Wekpome. We can start to work. Our father, he said, Why you all know it? Why you all know it? I'm talking about high priest. That's what we're here for. He was a principal consultant mm. on that project mm. in terms of research. research. And of course, Erudite Osa Ellis, who had written, he wrote Otere, mm. he wrote Equimity, he wrote Adesua. Mm. I said, no other person will qualify mm. to, write to capture this, this yeah. other than another astute Biniman. Yes. Osa Ellis. Ellis. Idupaye Osiris wrote that script. Then the production happened. Uh, it was Hercules. Because of the foreigners, as at that time, 2012, when we got on location, the security report around this side was very bad. All our attempt to get foreign artists, the embassies rebuffed them and gave, like they always do, the security report uh, uh, red lighted this area. But those that saw the script, mm. all of them were saying, even white, white, the, all the white guys, mm. that at the time we are coming from location with about 40 mm. white people leaving the forest at about 2 a.m. Yeah. We applied for police, mm. cover, uh, uh, protection, police care, and all of that. At the end of the day, maybe sometimes they stopped, and God was with that project. Mm. And I'm happy that the movie came out 2014. Yeah. Went round several cities in the U.S., mm. all the Edo associations, mm. these are not put to pay kudos to them, in Boston, in um, um, uh, Atlanta, in Houston. My God, it was like Edo Christmas yes. in Houston, yes. in Atlanta, all mm. of these places, they by themselves organized in Boston. Mm. They took invasion to a high. Oh, you met my brother, Phyllis uh, Oh, yeah. yeah beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. I met Philip before yeah. Yeah. when we went for our Ebuwa. We became okay. uh, friends and yeah. we've been so... Mm -hmm. So, 
Invasion was very well received by it's, all the it's girls okay. and everybody. To God be the glory, you know, it's one thing to have a dream. It's another thing to see the dream being fulfilled. You know, to us a dream come true for you. Now, today we are hearing of the return of the artifact. Repatriation is taking place. Even one, two place, even when uh, uh, Obaradia was still there. You know, I was, I was one of the compare when they brought that one. The one they call, I can't remember what they call it. Uh, 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 <laughs> Thank you. So now, how do you feel you know, to see the fulfillment, you know, of that vision? Because First, I'm sure this did not just happen. Probably because of the thing you did. <laughs> just to realize why... Uh, uh, everybody, happening. everybody, a lot of persons contributed. Uh, when they were going to auction one artifact by the Galloway, just a family, they put it out at the British auction, four million pounds. The whole business went... Why we started signing petition until that stopped. A lot of people that should or that ought to be given credit to. And of course, the film played its role because to the to the praise of the late Captain Hosa, when mm. he saw that film, mm. he said he was going to take it to the British Museum mm. and screen. So I'm happy. And our Oba today, then our Crown Prince was in that event mm. where invasion 18 and 7 was screened inside where invasion 18 and 7 was screened inside the british museum and a a certain edo bronze caster by name no sir also had exhibition of his bronze work right there so now when walker dr walker returned those two he saw he actually saw us on television when we were filming the British part in London, got in touch with Mr. Charles Omar Dion. I am specific with name and sometimes date. Mm -hmm. They got in touch, then uh, Hijo, uh, 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 our brother Hijo, mm -hmm. all of them uh, uh, were part of that move, yeah. and the man came to Benin. Mm -hmm. I was invited by the palace. If you can recall, four persons spoke at that event. Four persons. The representative of the Oba, the governor of the state, Mr. Walk, Dr. Walker, Dr. Himself, Walker yeah. and of course, Lancelot in yeah. That was the importance the palace played to our, I said, noble or very small role that we yeah. played. I was invited yeah. officially yeah. to the palace, and I, that was where this question was first asked. Yeah. Whether it's as a result of the film, whether directly or indirectly, I feel elated, I feel gratified, I am grateful to God that. If we now set out to do, mm. we had a reason for making the film, and today we are seeing the dividend. Praise it. God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's SKO Reality TV. The program is me, movie and the maker. Don't forget, this program is open for sponsorship. You know, on this program, you can sell your goods and services with our over 1 billion viewers. You are sure to be smiling to the bank. And for our brothers and sisters who are abroad, who are in the diaspora, you have your younger one here that you want to sponsor, you want to help bring on this program. Maybe he's an artist, you want us to interview him, you are free to do so. You can see the number on your screen, you can call, and we'll be there for you. Um, there's something about Lancelot, people don't know. Of course, Lancelot, who I must win, like I said, he's a man, I can tell his story, he can tell my story as well. There's one young man that is shaking everywhere in Europe now. They call him Star Majesty. Have you heard the name? Star Majesty. He's the one that sings all gay. You know, you heard a name. Do you remember in 2004, we jointly, you brought 60,000. <laughs> I brought 60,000 to produce that guy in 2004. You know, though the song didn't go well, you escorted me into the airport that day. I was going to travel as well. This, the music didn't go anywhere. I'm seeing oh, you 60,000. I was supposed to give you that money back. <laughs> no, this is our own video. We have a memorandum on our start yet. My God. Now, see, today, today I'm coming to that. I'm glad. That guy is the in thing in Europe now. It's everywhere. Everybody, you know him, right? Everybody know him. He went to Europe and he's everywhere. That guy, every day, is playing shows. Everywhere. So I'm glad that two of us will lay the foundation. His name is Star Majesty. And there's this other side about people, you know, about Lancelot that people don't know. Like I said, he's a book of billion pages. You know, is Lancelot is people don't really know this. They just know him as a movie director, a movie producer, and all that. He's a musician. <laughs> he's more of a musician than movie production. He's one of the best singer I have ever seen, I've ever heard all my life. 
And I'm still wondering why you have not taken the decision to produce at least one single. Are you ready to propose? I will produce you. I produce you. I will produce you. Many, you know, many colors, colors, different colors, you know. Great man, great director. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. You know, when I look back where we are coming from, how we met in EBS in 1992, I never knew we were related right. until when I went to for my father's burial and people were shouting SK, SK. And one man said, Larry, what SK? And I went to So when I came back to Billy, the story and I got to know again when you were doing your wedding, right? You know, when the whole family and I said, Oh, my people, they were the ones that were sitting down as family members. So it's nice being with you, it's great. SK, so it's an epic interview, <laughs> you know, it's gonna come in pages, it's gonna come in chapters. Right. But finally, um, of course, you're doing a lot. This we are right at uh, Bini, uh, Bini Film yeah. Academy. Mm. And Lancelot is the one behind it, or is the director, is the founder of this industry. That shows that you are doing a lot to encourage the younger ones who are coming. Now, finally, your advice for those who are coming to the into the movie the industry. Nothing comes by accident. Mm. Grace is there to propel. It is your intention that grace propels. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. It is your decision yes, that sir. grace propels. Yes, sir. And I tell young people that there's a great difference between. Mm determination mm. and desperation yeah man what we find today is all about desperation, desperation. people are not determined not determined. determination will take you to the right place at mm. the right time mm. you may go there they have closed mm. but don't give up yeah come again yeah. <laughs> the man who makes it is the man who goes out mm. and but today people just want it overnight mm. we are so happy Terry Tays of years ago. Yes. You just nostalgically reminded me. And I remember now you came to me in Lagos. Yes, and true, really. you back. Yeah. Believe people hear this. <laughs> hear this. Hear this. So the passion to grow at an entertainment and its practitioners here yeah, is endemic mm. inside of me. Mm. I know we had a show at uh, NTA, NTA is it, that I sponsored. 2006. 2006, mm. that I got part of with my say, you pay me back up. <laughs> you pick up that. And this man, let me say, your resilience, who now, because you are not doing the interview, mm. who now we interview SKO? I don't know. Who <laughs> now we entertain, who we uh, uh, interview, uh, 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 pull out, drag out, dig out. This man is an encyclopedia. This man here is an enigma. And it, it doesn't just happen. You see, our society has become that which is determined by money. How much you have. Very wrong. And unfortunately, we also belong to a place where institutions have failed. Institutions in all these ramifications. Where there should be institutions to archive the greatness of men like you. Of course, you have each your name on the sand of time. But for young people, it doesn't come easy. This name will be celebrated. Can I shock you guys? I was reading Whiskey. He said he's changing his lyrical pattern, his lyrical style. He said, why? He said, he, he, he has children now who listens to his Song. songs yeah. and he's not proud of his lyrics. Yes. That he might went back to Bob Marley. Mm. To Peter Touch. Bob Marley, that he was shocked to find that Bob Marley died not up to 40 years. Yeah. Almost 40 years after, Bob Marley song about him. Yeah. is being sung. Yeah. He said those kind of lyrics is what now he wants to concentrate on, to leave works on the sand yeah. of time. A lot of didn't happen overnight. That is just it yeah. for our yeah. people. Greatness is not an accident. No, 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 no. Uh, and uh, let me tell you, young people, too, sir. 
that there's a great difference between fame and greatness. Yes, sire. You can be notoriously famous, mm -hmm. but you are not great. Yeah. But point that to a man who is great mm -hmm. that is not famous. Yeah. Come for that. Yeah. So, <laughs> kind of people, it's nice. You know, I know this interview can go on and on, but we have to come to a close. We've been talking to the governor of the Nollywood. Like I said earlier on, some governor go for one tenor, some go for two tenor, if they are lucky. But this one is governor forever. You know, his tenor is endless. He has done so much for the moving industry. It's my brother, it's my friend, it's our brother, it's our friend. He has done so much, so many awards, un uncountable awards. It's a man that always aspires to acquire what he requires and desire, even when he requires passing fire through sometimes. You know. And have a, in case you don't know, he has always had the Bible on his table as well, and so he doesn't fumble and tumble and wobble and grumble. Always capable, always because God is reliable and dependable. Lancelot, once again. Jammer! Oh, 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 oh,